I wanted to do a really quick video on uh, the new Shocker RSX. Uh, there's been some questions floating around about it, uh, how compared to the old Shocker, what it's like, things like that. I'm not going to do a complete review. Uh, there's lots of those online. I really recommend you do your research and just get as much information as you can. I'm just trying to answer a few very basic, uh, very quick questions. Uh, first of all, if you haven't seen one, um, this is the Shocker RSX. Uh, my own two cents, it reminds me a lot of a Lux in uh, the way it feels in your hands. However, I, I do find this quite light. This is one of the lightest markers I've ever held. Um, the official stats for it are on the Shocker website there. I'll put a link down in the description, but I think it's six... Uh, nah, I'm not even going to quote it. I'll, I'll throw it up there how much it actually weighs. But um, Shocker RSX, this is the lime green one. This one specifically that I'm holding. Uh, Gary McKenzie of Camp DeBert Army Paintball. Uh, sent this down my way so I could do some adjustments to it and fine tune it. Out of the box, it was shooting great. Don't get me wrong, these things are great that way. They do have a tendency to be very over lubricated through the bolt, so I uh, I cleaned that up and I relubed it with a little bit of better lube. They come stock with a, I believe it's Dow 30, yeah, sorry, Dow 33, just plain white grease. And uh, this one specifically, I don't know if it's all of them, but this one specifically was hammered with the stuff, so I cleaned all that off. I re greased it with um, a little better grease than just standard Dow 33. Uh, put the correct amounts on it, and that was about it for the greasing. Other than that, it was great. Um, the number one complaint I hear about these markers is the kick. For a spool valve, they do have a little bit of kick right out of the box. That being said, you can actually adjust that a little bit. Right here under the trigger, you'll see uh, a little port, and there's an Allen key included that you can adjust that. You can manually set the bolt speed on these. Now, what I've done to this one specifically is I lowered it to 12.5 balls a second, which is standard EPPL and PSP, the whole works here, so you're legal to go everywhere. And then I turned that all the way in so that the bolt wouldn't cycle. It was just puffing. And then I just backed it out until it would shoot smooth at that 12.5, and it completely, well, hasn't completely, but almost eliminated all the kick that the bolt had. So that's that's just my experience there. The other thing that I've done is I turned the dwell up to uh, from 18 to 20. 18 is stock. I moved it up to 20 for uh, what I have found. That just made it a little bit more even over the chronograph. Uh, the stock settings before I touched anything, I was getting somewhere between 8 and 15 feet a second variance. After I tuned the, um, the manifold on it as well as reset the dwell there, I'm getting somewhere around 1 to 3 feet a second adjustment. Uh, anybody that's owned a Lux, it's very similar to how you tune those in. After this, a couple cases go through this marker. Uh, I Myself, I'd be inclined to set that dwell back down to 18 and see how things work out from there, but just kind of play it by feel. Um, the, the marker itself, as I said, incredibly light. Feels nice in the hands. Uh, it comes with a freak insert, for those of you that are wondering. So any if, if you have a freak kit or any other inserts, you can uh, put those right in. It comes with a 687 insert. Uh, auto cocker threaded. Two-piece barrel. Really nice there. Uh, and the, the marker itself, or sorry, the, yeah, sorry, what comes with the marker itself, you're going to get a barrel bag. You're going to get a quick startup guide. That, that's it. There is no real manual. Um, personally, I like a good manual, but if you jump on to Shocker's website, incredibly in-depth detail facts and questions and stuff there. So this really isn't that bad. This is kind of a, a real quick guide, how to pull it apart your O-rings and how to change some of the settings in your, in your marker. Uh, you get a very basic parts kit, a little container of Dow 33, plain white paste. Uh, my only recommendation would be to upgrade that. Uh, an Allen key set, and of course the barrel front, the barrel back, and one insert comes in a nice case, very standard case, you'll see this a lot with uh, Egos, just a soft case, a few other markers all do the same thing, nothing special there. This one specifically I think is for sale, so um, that being said I've only put maybe 20-30 shots over it, uh, I kept the shots really down in it because I didn't really want to put a whole lot of paint through it because it wasn't my marker to begin with. If you're interested in it, get in contact with Gary, uh, you'd have to find out with him from shore to make sure it's for sale. Uh, but the last I had heard, he, it was. So that, that's my real quick and dirty information on the Shocker RSX. Uh, once again, if you're interested in getting one, please do your research. Make your own opinions. Don't base everything solely on what I've said. This is just my own opinion. Um, and if you're interested in this one, as I said, get a hold of Gary. Other than that, we'll catch you in the next video.